you doing? I hope you're all doing fine. But if not, don't worry. You'll be fine by God's grace. He's going to take care of you. Remember, he is the great physician. So there is no sickness that he cannot heal. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support, for always supporting me. God bless you. If you're new, I talk of relationships, fashion, beauty, and life experiences in this channel. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today's video is a relationship video and I'm going to be giving you tips or guidance that will help you save time while online dating. These tips will also help you find the right man that you always dreamed of. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Don't skip a thing because if you skip, you might miss some of the most important information that will help you tell a success story one day, your online success story. So stick around please and enjoy the video. So guys, before we start our today's topic, I want to give you a bit of a story so that you get to understand why I am doing this video today. Way back then, I had tried online dating before I met my beloved husband. I chatted for a while with different men. So that is why what I'm talking about today, I have experience in it. I know what I am talking about. I chatted for a while and um, luckily I found the right man. He was a very good man, but I think he was not meant to be with me because while chatting it is when I got a message from my friend who was living in Italy that there is a man a very good man that she knows and she would like to connect me with that man because my friend knew that I was single and I had a lot of problems in dating <laughs> so I decided that I should go to this Italian guy <laughs> because my friend knew the guy then go with a guy that I don't know I'm going to start like from zero knowing this man so that is when I dropped that man <laughs> I was chatting with in the site and started chatting with my beloved husband so that is why I told you I'm doing this video because of this I have experience so guys let's start our video Tip number one that will help you save time while online dating. We imagine that you already have your profile and you're chatting with different men all around the world. So you get a message from one of these men. Number one thing that you need to look at when you get that message, go straight to this man's profile. And there are some things that you need to check in his profile. Number one, look at his photos. If he has no photo, that is X. Don't waste your time. If he has a photo, him naked, like half naked, maybe in the bathroom, X. Don't waste your time. <laughs> if this guy has photos that are too good to be true, he's a scammer. I'll put a photo here so that you can see what I'm trying to talk about. If this man's photos are so old, don't waste your time, my sister. Don't, don't, don't. So those are the things you need to check while looking at his photos. Don't forget to look at the background of those photos. You might discover something that will help you so much because he might be married and forget take a photo while there is a photo of his wife behind there might be something that you'll discover in that background so take into details to look at the background of that photo you might be surprised so for the photos done if you check those and you find all those things that I've said, please don't waste time on that man. 
don't waste your time please another thing you need to check in his profile it is his bio what did he write because a serious man will take time to express himself so that you get to know him when you go to his profile you get to know him a little bit but if you find like i'm looking for a sexy goddess i'm looking for a submissive queen my dear sister my dear women please don't waste your time he's just a player he is there to lose time he's there to waste your time a man who is serious he will never write such kind of things in his bio so that is number one thing you need to check oh that is the number one tip that will help you save your time tip number two that will help you save time while online dating we imagine you're chatting with this guy he's very cute you like him he has beautiful words that melts your heart they make you feel so good but this guy only chats with you during the day and never during evening or during the weekends if you ask him he tells you he is busy he cannot chat with you or if you check he is not even online at those times my dear this guy is married he cannot chat with you he has a family he's just wasting time online he just wants someone to chat with that's all and there is another kind of men who stay online all day like all day he wants to chat with you from morning to the evening if you get such kind of a man please don't waste your time because this man is just bored or he's just jobless and he just wants to pass time he's looking for someone to pass time with not a relationship so if you notice that please please don't waste your time just drop that guy no matter how good looking is no matter how sweet words he tells you please don't fall for it <laughs> tip number three that will help you save your time while online dating so you've started chatting with this guy and immediately as soon as you start chatting he tells you this is my whatsapp number let's exchange whatsapp number and chat from there and when you tell him no let's chat here he tells you no i don't have time to stay online or i don't have time to stay on these sites don't fall for it never ever give your phone number to a stranger never ever give your phone number to such kind of a guy he did not even take time to read what did you write in your profile what was your bio he does not want to know you he just wants your phone number do you want to get surprised if you give him your phone number whatsapp number he's going to be wanting nude photos yes he's going to ask for them he's going to tell you send me your photos while wearing bikini or he might just call you on a video call and if you pick that call, you will be surprised. He might be naked looking for online SEX. They exist. So don't give your phone number immediately when you start chatting with a guy. Get to know a guy, talk, get to know each other a bit for a while online. Then after that, you'll exchange numbers later because if a guy is really, really serious, if he is really interested in you he's going to stay there chat with you until he understands what is the next step so these guys that send you phone numbers immediately wanting to talk to you on, on on a video call they are fake don't waste your time tip number four that will help you save time while online dating so you've been chatting with this guy starting to know each other but when you ask him questions he's not open sometimes he tells you it's better not to tell you it's better not to answer that he is not open at all or he might call you and you see him talking in a in a dark room 
where you can note him very clearly or sometimes he might call you in a very empty room you can hear the sound that he is in is he is in empty room and sometimes you can be talking and you hear like someone entered the room then he ends the call just like that or if you ask him maybe you want to see around the house his living room and that he does not give you that chance my dear don't waste your time if a guy really likes you if a guy has started like to show interest in you he's going to be open about his life he'll show you around and he'll be free he won't talk in a dark room you know so if you see such kind of signs please x <laughs> he is wasting your time point number five that will help you not waste your time while online dating we imagine that you are chatting with this guy for a while and everything is fine and he always talks of sex all the time when he talks with you and because you like him you tolerate that and sometimes he asks you for nude photos please don't do it please please don't degrade yourself to such an extent no matter how much you are desperate don't fall for it please please because a man who respects you will never ask for those photos he will wait where is the hurry he will wait when he meets you he will see everything that he wants to see but just sending him such kind of photos that is degrading yourself please have some dignity because uh, there is one friend of mine that one day was asked to send some nude photos to this guy he was chatting online and she was like what can I do he's telling me to send the nude photos and he has sent me nude photos of some ladies that he was chatting with before and he says it's no problem I told her don't do it don't do that because you never know where those photos are going and it is just such a shame to send such photos to a stranger that you don't even know you just met him online so don't tolerate such kind of a thing and if you see a guy asking such photos my dear sister just run and never look back or block him <laughs> You can just block him easy as that because you won't reach anywhere so I was saying so you continue to chat with this guy tolerate him ask photos do that and when you ask him when are we going to meet to make all these things that we've been talking about a reality he tells you he does not know he says I don't know maybe after two years or maybe after one year dear sister that guy is just wasting your time because if a guy is really serious he won't take such a long time to meet you he will make plans good plans with you on how you're going to meet so just take that tip it will help you so much <laughs> point number six that will help you not waste time while online dating You've been chatting with this guy you've just started to know each other and this guy tells you he wants to come and meet you yes it is important to meet but he wants to come in your country where you are whether it is Asia whether it is in America whether it is in Africa he wants to come and meet you then when you ask him when he tells you the date and the month and a very surprising thing he has the ticket already for the plane <laughs> if you see this my dear sister I advise you to just leave that guy alone he's just looking for fun he's just coming for a vacation in your country he has no intentions of being in a relationship with you 
but if you want to give him the chance you can still go ahead and give him the chance to meet him but i insist but meet in an in an open place where a lot of people can see you not in closed doors don't give him the goodies please i beg you don't give him the goodies because if you do that it will be the greatest mistake that you would have done because sex tourists exist guys they exist they just go around the world looking for desperate women to sleep with and it ends there so if you go and meet him meet him in an open place talk a decent talk get to know each other if he is really serious he will continue the communication with you even if he returns to his home country and your relationship will continue but please don't open your legs <laughs> point number seven that will help you a lot save your time while online dating we take an example again you're chatting with a guy you like him you're all in love and this guy tells you that he wants you to meet and he wants you to meet in his country and let's say this country needs visa so that you can meet but this guy tells you that i'll help you with the ticket but with the visa process and everything just take care of it i don't want to know anything about that this guy is so clever if you listen to that my dear just leave that guy he's just wasting your time because he clearly knows that without him sending documents of himself of the invitation you will never attain the visa so if he says that you know that this guy is just fantasizing and you will never meet you just end up being disappointed because you're going to be excited because you're going to a new country maybe it is in europe or america or anywhere in the world you start imagining and in the end there won't be any 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 travel i can assure you that so if you see that, save your time, save your time, please. <laughs> Point number eight, which will save your time while online dating. It is a bit long, but today I'll just brief it. And it is, if you're chatting with a guy online, he is good, you like him, you've started to love each other, you have the connection, please make sure you ask very important questions questions don't just ask how did you sleep how are you did you eat i miss you i miss you too blah 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 no ask this guy his marital status some are separated and they stay online some are divorced if he is divorced why why did he divorce you need to know the reasons maybe there are some things that made that guy divorce the first wife and you have them so you find that you're not compatible so you need to know all those things who does he live with does he live alone or some tell you we are separated but they're still living with the wife so you need to know all those that brings me to one of the stories one of my friend got a guy online and this guy invited her to France he was a French guy so my friend was like oh my god the way I love Paris I'm going to Paris I've got a French guy and she was over the moon guys so the guy invited her to Paris <laughs> she went and when she arrived the guy took this girl to the hotel she stayed to the hotel till the end of her visit but this girl asked the guy like you did not take me to where you live then the guy was like hey i'm married i'm living with my wife i cannot take you where i am living and after the visit the girl returned and the relationship ended there he was just a user he was just a time waster and i felt so sorry for my friend 
that thing happened to her. But luckily, she found love again and she's happily married now. But you can get such kind of people online. You need to be specific. The questions you ask, they need to be very, very important. Don't just stop with a guy and it just ends there. You need to be very, very careful. You need to know what are the things that you need, the questions that you need to ask this guy to know him more. Guys, I hope you're not tired of listening to me, but these tips are so important. They're going to help you so much. If you're doing online dating, it's not easy. So you need these tips. So tip number nine, you are chatting with a guy for, let's say, two months. You've been chatting online and you have even exchanged numbers. You've talked a lot of important things. You've talked even of the things you're going to do in the future. Everything is fine. And you ask this guy if he is still online, he tells you yes. Or you don't ask him, you go online to check and find that this guy is still online. If you find him, just ask him, can he leave the site for you or not? If he tells you no, then just leave that guy. Don't waste your time anymore. Because if a guy really likes you, he will be able to leave the site immediately because he has found what he was looking for. But if he insists staying online, you know that this guy is just a player, is just a time waster, is just there to lie to women. I don't know what they get from that, but <laughs> they exist, they do that. So if you see a guy not willing to leave the site for you, my dear, tell him, ciao, ciao. <laughs> Another point that will help you so much, save your time while online, don't wait to be found. A lot of women don't know that. They just go online and wait for men to write to them. No, don't do that. Just go through the profiles and read the criteria, everything that I've said. Just take a note and use that to go through those profiles and you'll find the man that is really, really good, that is really serious, that really wants love, just like you do. Lastly, this is an advice as a sister, as a friend, please, beautiful ladies, don't go to these dating sites to solve your financial problems, please. Because it will not work out, you might put yourself into trouble, or you put yourself in a situation that is very, very bad, a very bad image you put on yourself. It is better to find job, Oh, just find a business you can do as long as you have two hands, you have legs, you have energy. So just work hard. But don't use these sites to get money from these men because some men might give you money but want something for, for an exchange. There is nothing for free. So don't degrade yourself. Don't be that desperate, please. I advise you as a sister. Another thing, you should also be very, very careful on how you talk to men. These men you're chatting with, a guy is good, is talking to you very good, but you come with your attitude. You'll just be chasing men away. There is this is an example I got from one friend of mine. He's a guy and he told me he was chatting with a girl and he told this girl that he wants to invite her where he was staying and this girl was like, do you know the price of a ticket? Then my friend was like, is this girl dumb? <laughs> Does she really know me? Does she know how much I have in my account? So what I did, I just blocked her and it ended there, you know. So just be careful of how you talk. Don't just complain that online dating does not work. But just also look at yourself. What is the problems? 
where are you or what are you doing wrong that things are not working out yes online dating is not easy at all i know and when you go online for chatting with men or to look for love go with an open mind you know because you are chatting with men from different countries all around the world different behaviors some are crazy <laughs> yes some are crazy some are bullies some are some are good men decent men so just prepare your mind that you're going to meet a lot of people with different characters so just don't take it very very uh like serious maybe you chat with a guy and he breaks your heart then you start to cry don't cry over a guy you met online please don't take it that serious unless this guy you've started a relationship you met and all that then you can cry but a guy you have never even met physically then you start to cry no don't do that just be there uh to get experience for fun and luckily god will bless you and you will tell your success stories so those were my advice to save your time while online dating i hope they help you and i wish you luck <laughs> to find your prince charming and thank you so much guys for watching this video if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share with your friends family everyone that you think this video will be helpful comment what you think watch my other videos too and don't forget to subscribe subscribe help your girl grow the channel please <laughs> let's meet in my next video i love you so much you're always here here in my heart guys 